Happy holidays and welcome to Grand Lake of the Cherokees, where tonight we're going to bring you the 29th rendition of the Christmas Lighted Boat Parade. Tonight's telecast is being made possible by our sponsors, which are our flagship sponsor, First National Bank of Benito, Oklahoma, the Cherokee Yacht Club, Arrowhead Yacht Club and Marina, Arrow Exterminators, the Grand River Dam Authority, Northeast Oklahoma Electric Co-op, Cobalt Boats, and Central Park Tag Agency. We're coming to you from what we think is Oklahoma's premier lake, and we're located on Duck Creek on the south end of Grand Lake tonight to bring you this parade. We're getting ready for the 29th event, Brandon. And once again, this year we have many entries all beautifully decorated and competing for the best presentation of lights. Many of our entries have up to four generations of family history right here on Grand Lake, and they're excited about the parade. And I'm Rusty Fleming, and Brandon is my broadcast partner for this evening. And, you know, when we look back at this thing, Brandon, it is a huge undertaking to get ready to be a contestant in this parade. The hours of labor and intense drafting of your friends and relatives to help you put this thing together is really something to, you know, take a look at and be thankful for. The parade route will go all the way out of Duck Creek, hug the right bank of Grand Lake, and there'll be watch parties all along the way that take this event in each and every year. Go to the Pensacola Dam and then come back. And this year there are many Duck Creek dock owners that have decorated for the parade. So not only will the spectators of the parade get to watch the boats, the people that are participating in the parade get to have a lovely view as they, they take on the route. Okay, get ready for a great show tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because it's gonna be spectacular. Get your family and friends together. This is gonna be 30 minutes of the most entertaining boating that you've ever seen. We'll be right back after a short break. Before I got this watch, I pretty much knew what the time was according to what train was in the station. <clears throat> in those days, Benita was just a small town at the junction of two rail lines in northern Oklahoma. And at that junction, a small bank opened on the ground floor of the old Cobb Hotel. And that bank, just like the people of Benita, embraced progress through the Industrial Revolution and into the Digital Revolution. We're looking to the future as Oklahoma eagerly embraces the next wave of innovation. FNB, 125 years on track together. The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. It produces low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of 77 Oklahoma counties while also managing 70,000 acres of lake waters, including Grand Lake and Lake Hudson. Each day, GRDA strives to be an Oklahoma agency of excellence by focusing on the five E's, electricity, economic development, environmental stewardship, employees, and efficiency. Established in 1947, Cherokee Yacht Club is a legendary facility on the Duck Creek arm of Oklahoma's Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Along with Arrowhead Yacht Club, both give you an experience only possible by being a member of the longest continuously operated yacht club in Oklahoma. For more than six decades, both have been a symbol of excellence in the lakeside private club experience. Cherokee and Arrowhead Yacht Clubs are truly the number one stop on Grand Lake. Come visit us and enjoy all the benefits of being a member. At Central Park Tag Agency, from our family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. For your tag agency needs, give us a call at 918-251-2659 or contact us online, centralparktag.com. A proud sponsor of this year's Grand Lake Christmas Light Boat Parade, Northeastern Oklahoma Electric Cooperative brings you bolt fiber optic services. Northeast Oklahoma's fastest internet. Get it today, 844-256-BOLT, 844-256-2658, or visit boltfiber.com. Boat number one for the parade is the Grand Marshal of this year's parade, and it's Ruby Rudolph's Ruby Red Christmas Cruise. This is a 2008 Formula 45 yacht named Ruby Red, owned by Lee and Jana Reynolds, 
and captained by Arrowhead and Cherokee Yacht Club's very own Tom McKibben and his wife Tiffany. Tom and Ruby Red have been in the Grand Marshal for the Christmas Light Parade for 10 straight years. And Rusty, it's also fitting that Rudolph is leading the parade. It absolutely is, Brandon, as Rudolph's been around for thousands of years. And Captain McKibben has been a mainstay as well. Hailing from the Great Lakes, it's always about the girl. And he followed her to Oklahoma, saw an ad for a boat sales position, and the rest is history. He and his wife, Tiffany, are a great addition to the Grand Lake community. Boat number two, this is a 2019 Regal 35 Sport Coupe. It's decked out in green lights and has been rightfully named the Grinch. Captain by Arrowhead's delivery captain, Stephen Kay, who is dressed as the Grinch, and all his friends have come along as many of the Whoville characters. They even found the Grinch's dog, Max, to join the party. Now that's dedication. It absolutely is, Brandon. And, you know, Stephen represents at least three generations of Kays that I've personally known here around the lake, and probably more. And you can you know, kind of take the kid out of the lake, but you can't take the lake out of the kid. And Stephen is doing a great job for Arrowhead Yacht Club. Float number three, this boat is owned by longtime Ketchum and Grand Lake, Oklahoma native, Mitch and Naomi Warren. Looks Like a Boat is the name of this 1983 36 foot Carver Cruiser. Captain Mitch is joined by their friends, Kenny and Candy Schallenberger, and have more than 600 lights strung out over the boat to let you know that it's supposed to, you know, look like a boat. Yep. It does look like a boat, Brandon. And you know, you gotta have a boat to enjoy Grand Lake, no doubt about it. The spirit of this 29 year old tradition is what keeps them coming back for the fun and being part of Grand Lake tradition. Number five is owned by our Grand Lake newlyweds, Jeff and Amanda Silver, who were married this summer on the Arrowhead Yacht Club deck. This is a 2010 Meridian 411 named Another Fun Date and is themed South Grand Lake Chamber of Commerce. Not as catchy as some of the themes, but there is a good reason behind the name. Amanda Silver, who is the director of our local chapter, and all her friends are here today to promote the South Grand Lake Chamber. Rusty, the chamber is something you're all too familiar with. Yes, Brandon, I, uh, I served as the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce and had the privilege of hiring Amanda and bringing her on. And then when I left, she was appointed to the director's position, has done a great job, and it looks to me like she's recruited Jeff Silver to be a key player. We'll be right back after a short break. Hello, I'm Farrah with Arrow Exterminators, and we are proud to be a sponsor of the 29th Annual Grand Lake Christmas Lights Boat Parade. I hope you enjoy the show, and when you need pest control services, please give us a call or visit us online at nomorebugs.com. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from my family to yours. For five decades, Cobalt has refused to compromise in the creation of boats designed and built to bring families and friends together. Across all these years of ever-changing technical innovation and unchanging allegiance to hand craftsmanship, Cobalt has proven that true and lasting value begins and ends in the most personal of exchanges, between the heart and mind of a boat's builder and the heart and soul of its owner. For 50 years, to compromise exactly nothing. A proud sponsor of this year's Grand Lake Christmas Light Boat Parade, Northeastern Oklahoma Electric Cooperative brings you bolt fiber optic services, Northeast Oklahoma's fastest internet. Get it today, 844-256-BOLT, 844-256-2658, or visit boltfiber.com. Boat number six is themed Christmas Past because this 42-foot Sea Ray has been in the Christmas Light Parade for six years, and they are still decorating with all the same old stuff they used in the Christmas Past. Owners Jim and Karen Cottom are here representing Water's Edge RV Park. They are here with their friends Kevin and Shannon Ferrison, celebrating all the past Christmas boat parades with one of the funniest and honest themes of the year. And you know what, I think I remember all of that and recognize most of it, and it was hilarious, but you know, these Texans, they don't have much to do this time of year. <laughs> so they've got to be creative. This 2018 Cobalt 35 Bow Rider is themed Candy Cane, owned and captained by first time parade participants Joe and Jennifer Potts. Remember, this is a contest, and these two have figured it out. At the judges' viewing party, their crew were all dressed in custom Candy Cane style shirts, 
and they were noticeably bribing the judges with, with candy cane shots. Rusty, you, you think that'll get them disqualified? Brandon, I don't know how that would possibly, could possibly happen for crying out loud. This is Grand Lake. I knew the late great Joe Holliman, which is the Pops grandfather. He was uh, head of the Bar Association in Tulsa, so if they need any legal help, he'll bring it on for them, I'm sure. Float number eight. Now this is a fun float. Boat owners and captain Cliff and Randy Wright have named their boat Elves' Favorite Toy. They have a 20-foot inflatable Santa and over 3,000 lights. The 10-person crew are all dressed as elves. Now to top it all off, they have also brought along a very talented singer, Allison Bennett. I had the chance to listen to her today before the start of the parade, and she was impressive. Brandon, this is one of the things that comes out each and every year is participants have to try to outdo their fellow competitors. And we've come a long way in that department over 29 years. Few things surprise me anymore, but this is absolutely a unique effort. Boat number nine is a 1997 30-foot Scarab owned by Conrad and Sean Faust. I know they've started a new business back here in Duck Creek and their theme this year is Boat Works First Christmas. And Boat Works is their business, uh, Brandon, and they do repair and uh, various different service type uh, operations on craft on this lake. And evidently, they're doing really well with it, and we'd like to welcome them to the Float number 10 is from the team at Arrowhead Service Department. This group is always our most, always has the most unique designs there. This year's float is called Sweet Elf and Effort, themed after Will Ferrell's 2003 hit, Elf. Check out this 15 foot tall elf riding candy cane as skis, captained by three of our finest boat technicians, Harold Hendrick, Daryl Moore, and Henry Dry. These guys have done many different themes in the past. Cousin Eddie's RV, the leg lamp from the Christmas story, and a Christmas train where they had multiple pontoon boats following each other to make a three-car train. Brandon, it's no secret that the Arrowhead and Cherokee Yacht Clubs are the driving force behind this event. And I think it says a lot to see their employees solidly behind it. These guys get better with age each and every year. We'll be right back after a short break. Established in 1947, Cherokee Yacht Club is a legendary facility on the Duck Creek arm of Oklahoma's Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Along with Arrowhead Yacht Club, both give you an experience only possible by being a member of the longest continuously operated yacht club in Oklahoma. For more than six decades, both have been a symbol of excellence in the lakeside private club experience. Cherokee and Arrowhead Yacht Clubs are truly the number one stop on Grand Lake. Come visit us and enjoy all the benefits of being a member. For five decades, Cobalt has refused to compromise in the creation of boats designed and built to bring families and friends together. Across all these years of ever-changing technical innovation and unchanging allegiance to hand craftsmanship, Cobalt has proven that true and lasting value begins and ends in the most personal of exchanges, between the heart and mind of a boat's builder and the heart and soul of its owner. For 50 years, to compromise exactly nothing. At Central Park Tag Agency, from our family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. For your tag agency needs, give us a call at 918-251-2659 or contact us online, centralparktag.com. The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. It produces low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of 77 Oklahoma counties while also managing 70,000 acres of lake waters, including Grand Lake and Lake Hudson. Each day, GRDA strives to be an Oklahoma agency of excellence by focusing on the five E's, electricity, economic development, environmental stewardship, employees, and efficiency. Float number 11, now I, I like the name of this float. Relax, it's Christmas. Charlie and Jerry Cox and co-captain Kel Kopatz are on board this Sea Ray 40-foot Sundancer and just want to remind everyone to just take a deep breath, slow your life down a little bit, and relax. It's Christmas. Everyone always talks about the hustle and bustle of Christmas, and this isn't a bad reminder to all of us. And you know, Brandon, that's an absolute truth. And what better place to take time to smell the roses, the coffee, or a good time than right here on Oklahoma's Premier Lake. 
float number 12 is a 1987 Chris Craft 362 Catalina, and her theme is a grand Candyland Christmas. Captained by Chris Walker in his first Christmas light parade, this boat is decorated with over 100 giant candy canes and gingerbread men, and has over 2,200 lights. This crew is representing Dripping Springs Yacht Club today. That's your neck of the woods, isn't it, Rusty? <laughs> yeah, it is, Brandon. And it's great to see new blood, the competition each year. And that's at least two or three newbies that we've got this year. If this group is from the drip, they may need to be watched a little bit. I've been watching the drip for many, many years at our place. And I know that uh, you weren't even born yet. That's right. 1976. Float number 13 is the Pirate's King Fly Your Flag for Christmas. This 1997 38 foot Carver Santiago, Santiago is owned by Kenny and Brenda King and their float is a tribute to all the men and women past and present who have fought for the life of freedom that we are so blessed to enjoy today. We can safely celebrate the birth of Christ with our loved ones because of that freedom. Remember that this great gift is given to us by our soldiers. Sacrifice as our freedom is not free. Fly your flag for Christmas. I wouldn't have expected anything less from Kenny, who is a veteran and a, a hardcore Grand Light guy. And he is the first, and his first mate, Brenda, probably logged more hours on the water than anybody we know. Float number 14 is our three-time reigning champion, captained by Michael and Kelsey Iman. This 1993 Blue Water is themed Tucker's First Christmas. The Iman's have been in the Christmas light boat parade every year for its 29-year existence. Little 10-month-old Tucker is the fourth generation Iman to travel on the boat parade. Hours and hours of time went into building this 30-foot choo-choo train, jack-in-the-box, and building blocks. They also have over 10,000 lights on board. Now that's, that's impressive. Wow, as somebody would say, right? It should be pointed out also that David and his company, Cityscape Productions, are responsible for this telecast and certainly do a great job. But their entire family are Grand Lakers through and through. David's dad, the late great Rod Iman, was a character for sure. And we've noted the tradition is being carried forward. Boat number 15 is a 2018 Regal 42-foot Grand Coupe. Captained by Cedarport Marina's Jerry and Lisa Cookson, Jerry has been captaining a boat in this parade for 10 years, and this year's theme is a Regal Christmas. Jerry's hodgepodge of lights is very fitting if you ever met the guy, but he is a true Grand Laker, Grand Lake ambassador, and a pretty good boat salesman too. Well, I can testify to this, Brandon. We don't buy our boats from Amazon.com. We buy them from Lake Guys, and Jerry Cookson personifies the Lake Guy description just like you do. Long-term relationships and a Lake community involvement is what it's all about. Before I got this watch, I pretty much knew what the time was according to what train was in the station. <clears throat> In those days, Anita was just a small town at the junction of two rail lines in northern Oklahoma. And at that junction, a small bank opened on the ground floor of the old Cobb Hotel. And that bank, just like the people of Anita, embraced progress through the Industrial Revolution and into the Digital Revolution. We're looking to the future as Oklahoma eagerly embraces the next wave of innovation. FNB. 125 years on track together. The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. It produces low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of 77 Oklahoma counties, while also managing 70,000 acres of lake waters, including Grand Lake and Lake Hudson. Each day, GRDA strives to be an Oklahoma agency of excellence by focusing on the five E's, electricity, economic development, environmental stewardship, employees, and efficiency. 
Established in 1947, Cherokee Yacht Club is a legendary facility on the Duck Creek arm of Oklahoma's Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Along with Arrowhead Yacht Club, both give you an experience only possible by being a member of the longest continuously operated yacht club in Oklahoma. For more than six decades, both have been a symbol of excellence in the lakeside private club experience. Cherokee and Arrowhead Yacht Clubs are truly the number one stop on Grand Lake. Come visit us and enjoy all the benefits of being a member. Hello, I'm Farrah with Arrow Exterminators and we are proud to be a sponsor of the 29th annual Grand Lake Christmas Lights Boat Parade. I hope you enjoy the show and when you need pest control services, please give us a call or visit us online at nomorebugs.com. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from my family to yours. Boat number 16 is a frozen Christmas. This is a first year entry for the classic 42 foot 1985 Chris Craft Catalina. Its theme is inspired by Disney's animated movie Frozen, complete with blue icicle lights and the double cabin and flybridge represent the North Mountain where Elsa built her ice palace. Uh, ice palace. Captain Jeff Flanagan and his wife Amy and the rest of the Flanagan family are on board dressed as all the characters including Princess Elsa, her younger sister Anna, and the snowman Olaf is on the bow. Well, if there's any Flanagans involved, it's going to be unique and creative for sure. Jeff and Amy relocated to Grand Lake in the last couple of years and it's also been a great addition to our lake life. Boat number 17 is one of the GRDA patrol boats. Chief of the GRDA Lake Patrol is Brian Edwards, is captaining the boat with his wife Vicki. Its theme is Gingerbread Police. I spoke with Captain Brian and he told me that he may not have the most lights, but he will definitely have the brightest. He's not only in the parade, but he will also be out there to help keep this rowdy bunch safe. You know, Brandon, Brian's participation is a testimony to the fact that this isn't your daddy's GRDA. They are a supportive bunch and are the reason Grand Lake is the most youth friendly lake in the Southwest. Vicki Edwards is an emergency room doctor with the Integris Grove system. And they're both also great teams for our community. Boat number 18 is captained by Jimmy and his wife Stephanie Young. Are out there very famous 52-foot harbor master named Big Bobber. And their theme this year is Bobber the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They have been in the boat parade for 12 years and they are notoriously the wildest bunch. All the girls on board this year are dressed as Rudolph and the guys on their Santa, have on their Santa hunting outfits. Lots and lots of lights all over the boat and the Rudolph nose in the front is five feet in diameter. This boat is also a past first place winner in the parade. Well, you know, Jimmy and company don't ever do things in a small way, but I, but I gotta wonder about those hunters chasing Rudolph in those little mini skirts. Boat number 19 is the final boat in the parade. It's a 1981 60 foot Carl's Craft houseboat themed Let It Snow and is captained by Joe and Brenda Howerton. All the credit of the decorations of this boat goes to Joe's new wife, Brenda, but the whole day and evening credit goes to Joe Harwood. He has been a lifelong promoter of all things fun on Grand Lake and has truly helped mold and build Grand Lake into what it is today. Rusty, Rusty, I know you have seen a lot of changes and improvements to our pond over the years, and Joe has been a big part of that. Brandon, I certainly have. And if anyone has invested more time and money into the grand lifestyle, I don't know who it would be. Not bad to go from pumping gas at Bomar's Marina in the 60s and 70s to becoming the largest non-GRDA employer on Grand Lake. As Joe has said more than once, after I got my political science degree from Kansas State, I was going to spend one more summer here on the lake having some fun before I started looking for a real job. I just never got around to looking for a real job and here I am 50 years later and we're all better off for it. Before I got this watch, I pretty much knew what the time was according to what train was in the station. <clears throat> In those days, Benita was just a small town at the junction of two rail lines in northern Oklahoma. And at that junction, a small bank opened on the ground floor of the old Cobb Hotel. And that bank, just like the people of Benita, 
embraced progress through the Industrial Revolution and into the Digital Revolution. We're looking to the future as Oklahoma eagerly embraces the next wave of innovation. FNB, 125 years on track together. The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. It produces low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of 77 Oklahoma counties while also managing 70,000 acres of lake waters, including Grand Lake and Lake Hudson. Each day, GRDA strives to be an Oklahoma agency of excellence by focusing on the five E's, electricity, economic development, environmental stewardship, employees, and efficiency. Established in 1947, Cherokee Yacht Club is a legendary facility on the Duck Creek arm of Oklahoma's Grand Lake of the Cherokees. Along with Arrowhead Yacht Club, both give you an experience only possible by being a member of the longest continuously operated yacht club in Oklahoma. For more than six decades, both have been a symbol of excellence in the lakeside private club experience. Cherokee and Arrowhead Yacht Clubs are truly the number one stop on Grand Lake. Come visit us and enjoy all the benefits of being a member. Hello, I'm Farrah with Arrow Exterminators and we are proud to be a sponsor of the 29th annual Grand Lake Christmas Lights Boat Parade. I hope you enjoy the show and when you need pest control services, please give us a call or visit us online at nomorebugs.com. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from my family to yours. For five decades, Cobalt has refused to compromise in the creation of boats designed and built to bring families and friends together. Across all these years of ever-changing technical innovation and unchanging allegiance to hand craftsmanship, Cobalt has proven that true and lasting value begins and ends in the most personal of exchanges, between the heart and mind of a boat's builder and the heart and soul of its owner. For 50 years, to compromise exactly nothing. You know we've had another great parade this year, a time to experience what the holidays are all about. Friends, family, boating, and of course, this year's parade. The reason we can bring you this great Grand Lake event is that our lineup of great sponsors, our flagship sponsor, First National Bank of Benita, Cherokee Yacht Club, Arrowhead Yacht Club, Arrow Exterminators, Grand River Dam Authority, Northeast Oklahoma Electric Co-op, Cobalt Boats, Central Park Tag Agency, Family, friends, and boating, a lake that never sleeps. Here for a year-round recreational experience, and we'd be remiss if we didn't remind you, the Tulsa Boat Show is right around the corner starting January 28th. What a fantastic parade, and we can't wait till next year's 30th annual Christmas Light Boat Parade. Thanks for being a part of this year's show. We'll see you soon. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.